Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x squared minus 7x plus 20 is equal to 4 times root x. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. We suppose that root x is equal to t. And if we square both sides of this equation, this implies that x is equal to t squared. So in this equation we replace x with t squared and we replace root x with t. So this equation will become t squared whole squared minus 7 times t squared plus 20 is equal to 4 times t. Now this is t squared whole squared will become t to the power 4 minus 7 times t squared. We move this 4t to the left hand side this will become negative 4 times t plus 20 is equal to 0. Now factors of this 20 are plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 plus minus 5 plus minus 10 and plus minus 20. If we put a t is equal to 2 in this equation then this will become 2 to the power 4 minus 7 times 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 2 plus 20 is equal to 0. And this 2 to the power 4 will become 16 minus 7 times 4 28 minus 4 times 2 8 plus 20 is equal to 0. And this 16 plus 20 will become 36. Negative 28 minus 8 will become negative 36. And this is equal to 0. It means that uh, t is equal to 2 is a root and uh, t minus 2 is a factor. So we rewrite this equation as uh, t to the power 4. We add and subtract, we subtract 2 times t cubed and we add 2 times t cubed and we write this negative 7 t squared as a negative 4 t squared minus 3 t squared and we write this in negative 4 times t as a plus 6 times t minus 10 times t plus 20 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms t to the power 4 minus 2 t cubed we can factor out t cubed in back left t minus 2 and from these two terms 2 t cubed minus 4 t squared we can factor out plus 2 t squared in back left t minus 2. And from these two terms, uh, negative 3t squared plus uh, 6 times t, we can factor out negative 3 times t. In bracket left, uh, t minus 2. And uh, from these two terms, uh, negative 10 times t plus 20, we can factor out negative 10. In bracket left, uh, t minus 2 is equal to 0. As you can see this expression t minus 2 is a common factor. So we factor out this uh, t minus 2 and uh, in bracket left, uh, in bracket left this uh, t cubed plus uh, 2t squared minus 3t minus 10. In bracket left uh, t cubed plus uh, 2t squared minus 3 times t minus 10 is equal to 0. From here either this expression t minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression t 
t cubed plus 2 times t squared minus 3 times t minus 10 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 2 and from this uh, cubic equation factors of this uh, 10 are uh, plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 5 and uh, plus minus 10. If we put uh, value of t is equal to 2 in this equation then this will become 2 cubed plus uh, 2 times uh, 2 squared is 4 minus 3 times 2 minus 10 is equal to 0 and 2 cubed is 8 plus 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3 times 2 6 minus 10 is equal to 0 and 8 plus 8 is 16 negative 6 minus 10 is negative 16 and this is equal to 0. It means that uh, t is equal to 2 is a uh, root and uh, t minus 2 is a factor. So, we rewrite this equation as t cubed. We write this uh, 2t squared as uh, negative 2t squared plus uh, 4t squared. We write this in negative 3 times t as uh, negative 8 times t plus uh, 5 times t minus 10 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, t cubed minus 2 t squared we can factor out uh, t squared in bracket left uh, t minus 2 and from these two terms uh, 4 t squared minus 8 times t we can factor out plus uh, 4 times t in bracket left uh, t minus 2 and uh, from these two terms uh, 5 t minus 10 we can factor out plus 5 in bracket left uh, t minus 2 is equal to 0. Now this t minus 2 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, t minus 2 and uh, in bracket left uh, this t squared this uh, 4 times t and plus 5 in bracket left uh, t squared plus uh, 4 times t plus 5 is equal to 0. From here either this expression t minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression t squared plus uh, 4 times t plus 5 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 2 and from this uh, quadratic equation according to quadratic formula t is equal to negative value of b is 4 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write uh, 4 squared minus uh, 4 times uh, a is 1 times uh, c is 5 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next t is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of this 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 5 20 divided by 2 times 1 2. Next t is equal to negative 4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 20 will become negative 4 divided by 2 and t is equal to negative 4 plus minus this root negative 4 will become root 4 times i divided by 2 and t is equal to negative 4 plus minus uh, root 4 will become 2 times i divided by 2 and uh, from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left uh, negative 2 plus minus i divided by 2 
so this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we get the value of t is equal to negative 2 plus minus i and first we found the value of t is equal to first we found this value of t 2 t is equal to 2 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, root x is equal to t we have supposed that uh, root x is equal to t so when t is equal to 2 then this equation will become root x is equal to 2 and we square both sides of this equation this uh, square will be considered with this square root and we get the value of x is equal to 4. When t is equal to negative 2 plus minus i then this equation will become root x is equal to negative 2 plus minus i and we take a square of uh, both sides. So this uh, square will be considered with this square root and we are left with uh, x is equal to by using this algebraic identity a plus minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus minus uh, 2 times uh, a b plus b squared this negative 2 plus minus i whole squared will become negative 2 squared plus minus 2 times uh, negative 2 times uh, i plus uh, i squared x x is equal to negative 2 squared will become 4 and plus minus 2 times uh, negative 2 times i will become negative plus uh, 4 times i and this i squared i squared is equal to negative 1 so we replace this uh, i squared with the uh, negative 1 next x is equal to this uh, 4 minus 1 will become 3 minus plus uh, 4 times i so from here we get uh, two values of x uh, x 3 is equal to 3 minus uh, 4 times i and uh, x 4 is equal to 3 plus uh, 4 times i and first we found the value of x1 and 2 is equal to 4 so we have four solutions of this equation